Hi, boys and girls. Here we are wrapping up chapter four with lesson 12, multi-step division problems. Okay, multi-step. Remember that we talked about multi means many, more than one, right? So you're gonna be doing some division problems, but they might have other operations in there. Now, when I say operations, do you remember operations of math? Adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Those are the operations of math, okay? Uh, so let's jump right in here to number two. There are eight pencils in a package. How many packages will be needed for 28 children if each child gets four pencils? Okay, there are eight per package. How many packages will be needed for 28 children if each child gets four pencils? Now, since you've been doing so much division, you probably want to like jump right in and immediately be like, well, I'm just going to divide some of these numbers. Ah, la, la, la. Well, we, we have to think here first. What is happening? You can buy pencils and there are eight in each package. How many package will be needed? You're not just buying packages for 28 children, or pencils, I mean. You're not just buying pencils for 28 children. You're buying pencils for 28 children that each get four pencils. So if you have 28 children and they each get four pencils, how many pencils do you need? You need 28 sets of four pencils, don't you? 28 children, four pencils each. So this is the first step. You need to find out how many pencils we need altogether before we can figure out how many packages of eight. So let's see. 4 times 8, well, 2 times 8 is 16, so if I double 16, that's 32. 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I need 112 pencils, and the pencils come in packages of 8. So I'm going to separate 12 into, I mean 112, what am I saying? I'm going to separate 112 into groups of eight to find out how many packages I'll need. So 112 divided by eight packages. Okay, so let's see. Can I put eight into one? No. So our quotient is gonna start over here. So what about 11? 11 tens, yes. 8 can go into 11 one time, okay? That was division. Now we multiply 1 times 8 is 8. Then we s -s 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 subtract. Remember I said when numbers are close together, like 8 and 11, I like to count up from 8 to 11. I go 8, 9, 10, 11. It's 3, all right? And then we have check. Is 3 less than 8? Yes, it is. And then B for bring down. Bring down to 2. All right? So now we do back up to the top D for division again. 32 divided by 8. Oh, we just did that over here, didn't we? 8 times 4 is 32. So, boom, 4. I love when that happens. So that was division. Now we multiply 4 times 8 is 32. S for subtract. Okay. So how many packages of pencils do we need to buy? 14. 14 packages. All right. Now, on this page, they are using bar models, right? So if you wanted to draw a bar model, 
I probably should have done this first. Um, you would do, let's see. There are eight pencils in a package. How many packages will be needed for 28 children if each child gets four pencils? So I could do 28, 28, 28, 28, right? That would then end up being the number of pencils, which is 112. And now the 28 is 28 students get four pencils each. So 28 times four, okay? And which is 112, which is what we figured out. And then you divide the 112 into eight equal parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in each of those parts is 14, 14, 14, 14. Okay, I like bar models a lot. But to be honest with you, this is not really my favorite spot to use a bar model. <laughs> but that's a way you could use a bar model. You know what I like about them is it, it's another way for you to visualize what's happening. So we have the 28 sets of four or four sets of 28, the total number of pencils, and then that total number of pencils divided into eight equal parts. Okay, all right, let's go on. Misty has 84 photos from her vacation and 48 photos from a class outing. She wants to put all the photos in an album with four photos on each page. How many pages does she need? Okay, reread alert. Right guys, you know Mrs. Olvey, I love to reread. So what does Misty have? She has 84 photos from her vacation. And then she also has 48 photos from a class outing. So what does she want to do? She wants to put all the photos in an album, okay, with four photos on each page. All right, I'm gonna start with a bar model for this one. So these are Misty's photos, this bar, all right? She's got 84 from her vacation and 48 from her class outing. They went on an outing, all right? So how many photos does Misty have? Because she's gonna take all of her photos and then separate them so there are four on each page. Okay, so let's see what we're starting with here. These are Misty's photos. She has 84 and 48. So what do we do to combine two numbers, to put two numbers together? Yeah, we just add them, right? 84 plus 48, okay? 8 plus 4 is 12. Oh, and 8 plus 4 again is 12, plus 1 is 13. So these two together are 132. So Misty is taking all of her photos and putting four on each page. So we're dividing 132 into four equal parts so we know how many pages she needs. Okay, four, 132. All right, so here we go. Four into one, nope. How about 13, four, eight, 12. Oh yeah, three times. So 13 divided by four is three. Three times four, 12, subtract. So 13 divided by four is three with one leftover, of course. So we just subtracted. Now we check, is one less than four? It sure is. 
bring down that one. 4 into 12, or 12 divided by 4, oh, I love that basic fact, 33. Okay? 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract. We have nothing left. Okay? So Misty needs 33 pages. And if you wanted to model that. Okay? All right. Beautiful. Let's move on. Okay, guys, now we are on the back, and this is number two. So get ready. Let's read it. A pet store receives seven boxes of cat food. Each box has 48 cans. The store wants to store the cans in equal stacks of eight cans. How many stacks can be formed? You know, this sentence was kind of weird when I first read it. The store wants to store. They use the same word store in two different ways. The store, you know, the place where you buy things, wants to store. And in this sentence, it means, um, you know, put them away or put them in a place where they can wait until they are sold. Um, you know, set stuff aside. They're going to store it like in a storage unit. So the store wants to store. Hmm, interesting math book. All right, let me go back now. I got off topic there. A pet store receives seven boxes of cat food and each box has 48 cans. All right, let's bust out a bar model here. Okay, seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? And in each box, it says right here, there are 48 cans. 48, 48, 48. Okay? The store wants to store the cans in equal stacks of eight. So, you know, a stack is like an up and down situation. Two, three, four, five, put one more up there. So that would be what the uh, cat food would look like, a stack of eight cans. So we have seven sets of 48 that we will need to figure out how much that is. What do we do? 48 sets of seven. What operation is that, boys and girls? When you have the same amount, ding, 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 multiply, you know that. 48, what was it again? Boxes of seven, okay? Oh, wait, am I saying that wrong? Seven, no, that's right. 48 cans in each box. So seven boxes of 48. Oh, I did say that in reverse. Each box has 48. Box, 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 box. Okay, got it. So seven times eight. Remember seven times eight? Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six equals seven times eight. Whenever you get to seven times eight, most, most, well, some kids get stuck. I won't say most, I don't know. So remember, 56 equals 7 times 8. You're just counting 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 56. 7 times 4, well, when I get to my 4s, I go 7 times 2 is 14. Double 14 is 28, plus 5 more. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33. So there are 336 cans of cat food and what is the store doing again they're putting them in equal stacks of eight so what we're going to do with the 336 is one, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to separate the 336 cans of cat food into eight. So divide a Rama. Okay. Eight into three. No, sorry. How about 33? Let's see. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. Okay, 40, it's too much, so we're going to go with 32. 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 times 4. So 33 divided by 8 is 4. Then we go 4 times 8. We're dividing away 32. One can left. Subtract, bring down. Oh, I forgot to say check. 1 is less than 8. Check. Okay, so then we have 16. 16 divided by 8, right here, 1, 2, subtract, okay, are you getting the hang of this long division? I know you are. Um, so how many stacks can be formed, boys and girls? Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. 42 stacks, okay, 42, 42. That's a four, 42, 42, 42, 42, 42, 42. All right, beautiful. Okay, this is from the Spiral Review, and we are back in Chapter 2, Lesson 12. So let's see what this says. Mr. Hatch bought four round-trip airplane tickets for $417 each. He also paid $50 in baggage fees. How much did Mr. Hatch spend? Okay, well, let's see what he bought again. He bought four round-trip airplane tickets. Round-trip means that his tickets are going to take him to the place he wants to go and back again. So let's say he wants to go to Chicago. He'll go from one place to the other place back to home. That's round trip. And each ticket was $417. And he also paid this $50 in fees. So he bought four airplane tickets and they were each four hundred seventeen dollars so he definitely paid four hundred seventeen four times right okay that's for sure so let's do that as the first step 28 four times one is four plus two is six and four times four what's four times four you guys sixteen Okay, so for the airplane tickets alone, he paid $1,668. But then we have these baggage fees, $50 in baggage fees. Does it say that he paid the baggage fees four times? Did he have to pay four sets of baggage fees? I don't think so. It looks like he just paid an additional additional ching ching fifty dollars so he bought four tickets but then had to add on fifty dollars for baggage which is like your suitcases okay eight plus zero is eight six plus five five plus five is ten six plus five is eleven six plus one is seven so mr hatch altogether paid $1,718 for his trip. Choice C. Okay, guys, because he only paid that fee one time. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. Keep on keeping on. Finish your homework.